Go. <laughs> generous blend of images, Toma is a city in the state of Wisconsin. A wondrous and gnarly place where many flock to enjoy one very gnarly business, the book bog. <laughs> chive in your tooth. I didn't even eat chives today, so that's kind well, that's of weird. Uh, what are some of the things you sell here? We sell books new and used. Uh, coffee, Altera Roaster out of Milwaukee. We have t-shirts, different types of, usually band rock and roll t-shirts. Vinyl records. Molly's Candles from Molly's Rude Awakening. Coffee Shop in Black River Falls. Games. Puzzles. Mm -hmm. Games, yep. Uh, we sell coffee by the pound if you if you want a pound of coffee. It's Music banners. Musical stuff, a lot of musical stuff. This is a drum that I call the sound bender, and it's a drum that I just put together from a, a djembe stand and some djembe rope with a goatskin head. And uh, one thing that I realized, well, first I started just because I thought it would look neat. And then Lori pointed out that you can change the tone of this drum. So when you hit it, you can bend the sound. different varieties. I have this one's the earth one. I have a um, eagle one which I have an eagle uh, painted on the top and then I'll have I have an Aztec one and several and monkey one and different different types but that's it. That's basically a pretty simple design but it's kind of neat. What 
What are your top selling items? <laughs> I would guess some of the new release books like Hunger Games and Fifty Shades of Grey. Some of those books are really top sellers for us, but coffee is always a hit. And, and in the summer, smoothies sometimes can be really top selling. It, you know, it goes in waves. I mean, some days we sell t-shirts like crazy, posters. Uh, I think we sold a poster and t-shirt today. Yes, we did. And um, sometimes even albums. Some guy named Adam Flatmeyer comes in and buys <laughs> albums. And um, We've discovered that if we talk about it, it'll yeah. happen that day. It's yeah. the weirdest thing. Yeah. We're like, gosh, we should probably sell like a poster today and someone will come in and buy it. Yeah, we have things called book bogisms. They're like, just like weird stuff. Like, we'll find an odd book that we didn't know we had, and we'll go, "Oh, that's weird." And then, like five minutes later, a guy will come in and go, "Do you have that book?" And we'll be like, "Yeah." It's happened so many and times. And it, it's been in the stuff. store for like a year with no one even looking at right. it. Right. We should write a book. I think so. Book bogisms. Or how about the time we had the big uh, pile of books that Kim gave us? And someone was looking for a book that we didn't have. I had just ordered it that afternoon, and a friend gave me her books, opened up her trunk, and on the top was the book I had just ordered for someone else. Yeah. <laughs>